Hi everybody, it's Marcy, and I'm here with, I believe, episode four of my Craft With Me with for Christmas series, and today I'm working on some more little albums, but this time the little albums are actually ornaments that can be hung on a tree. So, slide off this little sleeve and just have a little spot that you can put favorite Christmas photos in and hang it from the tree. And I love, as a book lover myself, you could, I suppose, leave the sleeve on it, but actually I've just got it there to keep it closed for packaging because if the way it lays a little bit open as it's hanging, I think would just be awesome. So, I love these. Okay. They're very easy to make, pretty quick to make. So, let's get started. I will be using my Pine Street Square by Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby, and these are four and a half by six and a half inch sheets. Of course, you can do this with whatever size you would like to do. And you're going to need for each album, I'm using seven sheets of the cardstock. So the first sheet for my cover, well, actually, six of the sheets I want to take and fold in half with the printed side on the inside. Now, if you've got double-sided paper, obviously, you can just choose... The side on the inside of the fold is what will show. Okay, so you want to do that with six of them. Then on my seventh sheet, since I'm using one-sided paper, I'm going to make a cover piece. And so to do that, I'm going to fold this in half. Basically, I'm going to cut it in half. But I've been actually tear cutting these because I do want them to really closely match the uh, paper folds. And no matter what, if I put it in my paper cutter, I can measure and all of that, but it's not going to be quite as precise. Now, I do have that torn edge there, but I'm not worried about it. So, that will become the cover, the front cover, and this one will become the back cover. And I'm going to take my first piece and I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. I hope everyone's doing well today. I'd love to know if you've started on Christmas making yet, if you plan to start on Christmas making. I think some of these little ideas I'm doing are great because they could go into, they could either go into a junk journal or just be given as little gifts like I'm planning to do. Some of these I think would make really cute little stocking stuffers. I 
All right, so I got it lined up and glued down. Now I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to go to what will be the last page in the album and glue on the back cover. I think it would be really neat if a bunch of paper crafters could do like I'm trying to do just We, we've all got, or most of us have, a pretty good stash of supplies that we couldn't use in years and years if we tried. And I know I keep saying it, and I will keep saying it, You never know how just handing out a few little goodies can change somebody's entire day. Okay. So I've got my front cover glued on and my back cover glued on. Now I'm going to take what is now my first sheet and my second sheet, move the others aside, and I'm going to glue them together. Now, I, you could glue them together pocket style. I'm sure we've all, many of us have seen this kind of booklet made. I started to do that, uh, but basically in the essence of time, if I make a pocket out of it, then I need to make cards to go in the pockets and stuff. And, okay, now I'm just going around and trying to get my glued on, my newly glued pages as lined up as possible before I start really squishing the glue down. And inevitably, you're going to, on some of them, you will have a bit of, see like I've got a bit of white showing there. Not a problem. I can take care of that in just a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to do that with all of these pages. So my next one will get glued like this. So... I will pause the video here and come back as soon as I've got that done. I got all my pages glued together and so now you have this little mini album. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to punch my corners and I will go through and punch all of my corners, but to keep you from having to watch all of that, I will just punch the covers for now. And then the other thing that I do is I do ink around my pages just to help cover up any of the white edges that there may be. 
And again, I will do that to all the pages, but for these purposes, I'll just do the cover pages. All right. And I'm using my frayed burlap which I'm really enjoying with these papers uh, because it's there, but it's not, I don't know, I just, I like it. Okay, so you can see I've got, right now I've got these rounded corners and these straight corners, but like I said, I will go back and redo all of those. Okay, now, a lot of people just leave this binding the way it is and just, stop there and that's the end of the album. I'm not as fond of doing that. Plus, I'm going to be putting some ribbon on it to make the ornament hanger. And I'm using 1 8 inch ribbon. And I don't even know how long it is. I didn't measure it when I cut it. It is about five and a half inches long. So I'm just going to, if I can get my fingers to work. All right. Pull out a little bit of Fabri-Tac. And I'm going to put a bead of glue. Come on. There it is. down the part of the ribbon that I'm going to put on the spine. And what's nice about the 1 8 inch ribbon is it just, it, it fits the spine of these little guys perfectly. Okay, now I'll put another little down to put the other side down. Be sure they're lined up on my spine. And now I've got a, this was just another piece out of the same scrapbook paper pad cut to one inch wide and I slightly rounded the corners and inked around it. And this I'm going to use to cover my spine. And what I'm going to do is, got to remember that Fabri-Tac is on there. Probably should have done this beforehand. I'm just going to set it down and gently curl it around that spine to start with. Then I'm going to pull it off, curl it some more, try to get it lined up so that I've got an even amount on my front and back. I don't really want to score this paper. Uh, you certainly can. I've just discovered this particular paper, it likes to crack if it's scored. So I've not had that problem as long as, like in my folding and stuff, I've not had that problem at all as long as I don't. Like when I folded my pages, I don't know if you noticed, I did not use my bone folder. So as long as I'm not doing too much, I've not had a bit of problem with it. Okay. 
Okay, let's see how that does. All right, that looks good. So, take my glue and just run a glue right down the center. And I'll get that attached, and then I'll come back and glue down the sides once I've got it lined up and... Now I am pressing this onto the spine. Need to see if I can scoot that up just a hair shade. There we go. Okay, and now I can come back on each side and add some more glue. And you could do this all in one fell swoop. I just find it works better for me to do it one section at a time. And glue the other side. Got a little glue ooze there. All right. And there is our book, our little ornament album that hangs open. Add your own photos to it. Love that. And then the last thing I'm going to do is got another strip of paper that I cut to one and a half inches wide by, I believe, seven and a quarter inches long. Yes. And I'm just going to put that on there and lightly... Wrap it around. You won't want to make this too tight. Don't want to make it too difficult to get on and off. Learned that with experience because I tend to want to make it wrap it just as tight as it'll go. But all we're really trying to do is... Uh, keep the book from flying open when I put it in a goodie bag. Okay, that'll come. That might be actually a little loose. It's either too tight or too loose. Okay. And then what I do is I do kind of roll it around the sides of the book. And that helps loosen it up a hair shade. So, there's another album. Like I said, this one I'll need to finish. I need to go back and round the rest of those corners and do a little more inking. But, and I've got, I think I've got three more of these that I'm going to make. And that will kill off that Pine Street Square paper pad. So, 
I hope you find this helpful. I hope maybe this is something you can use. And again, this is something you could easily tuck in a journal uh, or have it be a standalone little gift. So until next time, everyone, please be safe, stay healthy, happy crafting, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.